Hello everyone, we are here at West Farrock Marshes, which is a site most famous for this species, the distinguished jumping spider. I first saw this species in 2021, after the Essex Wildlife Trust gave me permission to survey for it, as this site has no public access. When a male posed for a quick video and a few shots, before the heat of the sun on this July day had it spinning itself a shelter, but since we saw it, no one else has seen it on this site, so can we confirm it's still here? I'm standing in the lagoon, which is a known habitat and site for the species. And I'm going to be looking through all of this stuff down here. These holy rocks. Now all this is ash and clinker, which is left over from the power station that used to be on this site. I had a good look around, but all I could find was this labyrinth spider. But with the sun coming out, it was much better conditions to find jumping spiders. There was certainly an increase in insect activity, such as this thick-legged beetle and this hoverfly. I had a closer look around the lagoon itself and found this broad-bodied chaser dragonfly. But after a couple of hours of looking, I'd had no luck, so I decided to explore some of the rest of the site and ended up at the larger saline lagoon, which is fed by water from the Thames estuary. In one corner of this lagoon, there was a swarm of flies that I didn't recognise. So, I got my probe lens out my bag, got a bit muddy, and got this footage. The top entomologist Stephen Falk kindly ID'd these flies via Twitter from this footage as a type of brine fly, which makes sense on a saline lagoon. You can see them feeding away. Looks like it's on algae, bacteria, or some sort of microbe. This true bug, possibly a shore bug, gate crashes to party too. Among these flies, I spotted some silvery flies, which looked a bit like a species of long-legged fly, which Stephen Falk also kindly confirmed the idea of. I called it a day there, and decided to come back again, which I did the following Friday. Right, well I'm back here again at West Front Marshes. Um, you can probably see somewhere behind me, there he is. Uh, I bought my secret weapon this time to my friend Tom. He is the one that actually found it last time. Let's see if I can find this distinguished jumping spider. I've also brought this, which is the new flash diffuser um, I built. I say I built my wife. Probably <laughs> should take most credit for building this. So fingers crossed somewhere out here at the edge of the lagoon. He's a distinguished jumping spider. I better go and help Tom. My searching didn't find any jumping spiders, but I did find some subjects for the new diffuser, such as this meadow ant with a pupa, and this Welsh chafer. And then... Well, my secret weapon worked. Tom has found a distinguished jumping spider. And he's currently laying down and photographing it right now. And it was a female. I'd not seen one of those before. Great to confirm that the species is still here. I got some footage with the probe lens first and then got some shots of the 90mm macro and the new macro flash diffuser. She was quite mobile so I only managed two good shots of her. Then this male appeared and he was even more active, so just this one shot of him. Then while sitting down for lunch, Tom spotted a third distinguished jumping spider. Another female and she looked like she was full of eggs. While I was filming her, Tom found another male. He ended up on some clinker and looked like he was trying to tuck himself into one of the holes before changing his mind and building a little silk shelter under some mud on the side of the rock instead. So I left him to it. But that wasn't it. Tom managed to find two more, a male and a female. They were very active in the hot sun and the male seemed to be trying to attract the female by waving his pedipalps. I got a couple quick clip before this one too disappeared into a bit of clinker. Then the female jumped onto the same bit of clinker. Sadly, she just disappeared too. By this point, it had got really hot, so we called it a day, but we're both happy to have found them again. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe if you did. If you want to know more about the diffuser, I made a video about it here. And I've got a bunch more videos planned on wildlife, wildlife photography, and 
wildlife filmmaking, so do subscribe if that's of interest to you. Bye for now.